After that, Mr. Paul Sikala, it's gonna be a wet rodeo. How about a yeehaw for you? Yep, yep, yeehaw. We got rodeo in a second. First, Juve basketball with the Arizona men's basketball team loses to California tonight at McHale. That'll be the U of A's eighth loss in a row. The Wildcats are currently in 10th place in the Pac-12 and still battling injury. Once again, guard Brandon Williams will not play because of pain in his surgically repaired right knee. Here is Coach Sean Miller. You know, Brandon Williams, Every, every team goes through certain periods of time during the season when, uh, when there's injuries. So it's not really uh, an excuse, but you know, he has great meaning to our team. Hey, with or without him, Arizona tips off at 7 p.m. I'll we'll have complete highlights tonight at 10. Meanwhile, the Fiesta de los Vaqueros Tucson Rodeo is in full swing, and despite the windy and rainy conditions, the Cowgirls and Cowboys continued the competition strong. As you've seen in our earlier sports reports on the rodeo, it all got underway last weekend, and rain or shine, the show goes on until this Sunday. Here's video of some of this afternoon's action at the rodeo grounds off of Irvington and South 6th Avenue. Today, we're focusing on barrel racing. One woman, one horse, three barrels competing against the clock. Hundreds of fans turned out at the rodeo, braving the weather to watch the competition and a couple of locals, Kelly Robertson and Lauren Underwood, giddy up. Not the best run for Underwood, but hey, she still gets to ride in her hometown. It's pretty awesome and it's, um, it's really cool to be this, you know, this close to home and be able to run for this kind of money, so it's, it's awesome. We didn't have quite the run we were expecting, but it was, it was okay. He did good for handling the crowd and everything like that. Hey, the Fiesta de los Vaqueros Tucson Rodeo continues through Sunday with gates opening every day at 11 a.m. We're far from over with after the break. More sports, including the amazing run of four Tucson area high schools who made it to the state championship game. We go in-depth with them next.